Proxima b, one of the most fascinating exoplanets lately found, is located in a planetary system that, by cosmic standards, has been our next-door neighbor since its discovery. A new telescope is set to find out if Proxima b could harbor alien life, among the many fascinating new discoveries about the planet that have been made, such as the potential that it is an ocean world. The third brightest star in our sky, Central, is actually part of a triple star system that consists of the binary star pairs Alpha Centauri A and B and Alpha Centauri C, also known as Proxima Centauri. Though it may seem far away, Central is actually three times closer than the next sun-like star. The two stellar companions, Alpha Centauri A and B, are only about 23 astronomical units apart, which, by cosmic standards, is fairly close to each other. In contrast, the distance between the Sun and Uranus is approximately 19.8 astronomical units. Both stars and our Sun share a number of similarities. With a yellow light that is roughly 1.5 times brighter than the Sun, Alpha Centura is a little more massive. The foreign Alpha Sensor IB is half as brilliant and has an orange hue. It is somewhat less massive than our star. Additionally, the age of Centura pair is roughly 5 billion years, making it somewhat older than the Sunday the Red Dwarf. The third part of the system Proxima Centauri is a tiny star that has a radius of roughly 15% and a mass of only 12% of that of our Sun. Additionally, the temperature at its surface is low, just over 2,725 degrees Celsius. This little star is the nearest to the Sun, at a distance of roughly 4.25 light-years, and it will get even closer in roughly 27,000 years. The distance between us and the Proxima Centauri will be little more than 3 light-years. Music, nevertheless, despite being the star nearest to us, the faint red dwarf's brightness is just 0.17 times that of the Sun at the same moment. Scientists believe that Proxima Centauri frequently exhibits its stellar characteristics by displaying sudden bursts of brightness in the sky. This phenomenon is also observed on Alpha Centauri IB. However, the Proxima Center I rarely remains apart from its companions in general. At present, it is approximately 13,000 astronomical units away from the binary pair due to its remarkable eccentric orbit that occurs every 550,000 years. At a distance of roughly 4,300 astronomical units, Proxima Centauri approaches the Alpha Centroid pair, but it is still pretty far away. Music, Proxima, a centralized star with a few planets in its orbit, has long captivated astronomers. Scientists believe that millions of years ago, the two alpha-centered stars seized Proximus and tried to drag it in by gravitational pull. This star is called Proxima b, and it was found by scientists in 2016 using the radial velocity method. This method is based on the idea that a star moves somewhat in a small circle as a result of the smaller planet's gravitational pull on it. Researchers track a star's light spectrum using incredibly sensitive spectrographs. If a planet is orbiting a star, the star's light will appear slightly blue-shifted and then slightly red-shifted. If these shifts are regular and repeat in fixed intervals of days, months, or years, then this shifting of light is almost certainly caused by a planetary body orbiting around the star and tugging it back and forth. Music. After closely examining the exoplanet, our closest space neighbor appeared to be similar to Earth, according to astronomers. Proxima b could have roughly 1.3 times the mass of our planet, a radius of 1.1 Earths, and a similar density to Earth. Scientists also think that Proxima b may be a rocky planet similar to Earth, but there are some differences between the two planets as well. Proxima b is located in its solar system much closer to its star than Mercury is, at just 0.05 astronomical units. However, this doesn't mean that Proxima b is a fiery hell like Mercury. Rather, 
Proxima Centauri is a faint red dwarf exoplanet that receives only 60% of the energy of its star from the Sun, unlike Earth. The fundamental requirement for life to exist on a planet in the Goldilocks zone is that it's not too hot or too cold for liquid water to exist on the surface. Proxima b, like Earth, is in the habitable zone of its star, which implies that life might potentially exist there. A similar thing happened to our moon when it became tidally locked to Earth. The planet is strongly attracted to the center I star by gravitational pull, and one side of the planet is always facing the star. Music? Proxima b's side facing the red dwarf is obviously much hotter than its opposite side. The temperature on the hotter side is higher than zero, which permits the possibility of liquid water. This was confirmed by two climate models created by scientists at the British Meteorological Office and the University of Exeter. The climate models show a very stable climate on Proxima b that is ideal for the emergence and development of life, exceeding even the most audacious expectations of researchers. Music, despite all the clear benefits, for us, Proxima b might not be the ideal environment. Strong solar flares that shoot out of the star have the power to completely destroy the planet's atmosphere. But as we know, life is so diverse and adaptive that it can survive being blasted by massive fluxes of radiation particles in its early stages of development. The Earth also received massive doses of ultraviolet radiation in its early history, and yet it has managed to support a wide range of alien life forms on Proxima b. Some astrobiologists argue that even intelligent life cannot be ruled out because there are numerous examples of such life forms on Earth. And it is possible that aliens have created underground cities where lethal radiation cannot reach them, or that they have hidden from radiation deep within bodies of water. Coral polyps can glow a brilliant pink or purple at night, and they are very good at counteracting the harmful effects of ultraviolet light by producing fluorescent proteins that block excessive sunlight in shallow waters. It's possible that someday next-generation telescopes will be able to detect a similar glow in bodies of water on Proxima b. Music? The problem is that the nearby star still blasts the planet's atmosphere into space. But scientists assume that Proxima b retains some of its atmosphere, especially if it managed to form a thick gas cover around it when it was still young. Volcanic eruptions or comet impacts can also partially compensate for the loss of the atmosphere by emitting gases. If the planet lacks an atmosphere, the average temperature in Proxima b is about minus 40 degrees Celsius. However, if it has one, the temperatures there could reach 30 degrees Celsius, which another theory is that a strong magnetic field shields Proxima b from radiation. It would be great to explore the system ourselves, but even though it is close to our own, getting there would take a very long time. If we tried to reach the Alpha Centralized Star System by space shuttle, it would take 165,000 years. However, scientists have devised an amazing plan that will allow them to get a good look at the distant world without using telescopes. Scientists hope to test their theories with the 39-meter European Extremely Large Telescope. The goal of the Breakthrough Starshot initiative is to deliver tens of thousands of tiny space probes to Alpha Centauri, each weighing roughly one gram. Music. When the probes reach the Alpha Centauri system in approximately 25 years, they will gather and send back valuable data. Five years later, we will be able to see what the fabled Proxima b is made of. In orbit, the probes will unfold enormous solar sails measuring 4 by 4 meters. An Earth-based square kilometer array of lasers will aim streams of light at the sails, accelerating them to 20 times the speed of light. Music. Although the launch date is still unknown, some probes have already undergone successful testing. Music. The planet Proxima c is located at the outermost edge of the planetary system and has an orbital period of more than five Earth years. Because of its great distance from the star, the planet's temperature is most likely less than minus 234 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, in 2019, astronomers at the Astrophysical Observatory of Turin 
suggested the existence of another planet there. Proxima C's mass is thought to be roughly seven times that of Earth's, and depending on its size, it could be classified as a mini-Neptune or a super-Earth. Some observations point to an intriguing aspect of the exoplanet. Thank you, but this is not all the mystery surrounding Proxima C. It is likely ringed by massive rings of dust and asteroid debris that are five times larger than Saturn's rings. Proxima Center, I hide. Recently, using the very enormous telescope, astronomers found another possible planet there, which they called Proxima de Music. The planet, which is one of the smallest exoplanets known to science, has a radius of 0.8 Earths. Despite being four times smaller than Earth, Proxima D's mass is twice that of Earth, given its diminutive size. Because Proxima D is hefty, researchers are pretty positive that it is rocky. The distance between the prospective exoplanet and the red dwarf is around 4.3 million kilometers, which puts it more than 10 times closer to the Sun than Mercury is. Music, it is too close for life to exist on the planet because of its close proximity which allows it to complete an orbit around its star in just five days. Yet it's possible that some microorganisms are hidden underground. Music, to discover the solution to this and all the other mysteries of our stellar neighbors. In 2023, the James Webb Telescope is scheduled to launch, sending us its first images. This telescope will be used for orbit locus interferometric monitoring of our astronomical neighborhood, specializing in observations of the Alpha Central System and its nearest stars. What discoveries would you like to see from these telescopes? Please let us know in the comments section below. If you like the video, please consider leaving a like. Stay tuned by subscribing to be the first to learn about anything fascinating happening in our universe.